Hi guys, it's so good to have you in this series of our government tutorials. And we are going to be looking at citizenship. What is citizenship? So many things about citizens and how it works in our society. And so at the end of this lesson, you should be able to differentiate between the various types of citizenship and to specify the rights and responsibilities of a citizen. Now, in order to help us understand this goal, we're going to be looking at the meaning, the types, the rights of a citizen, as well as the duties or obligations of a citizen. Now, let's look at a citizen. You would want to ask, who is a citizen? And I have said that a citizen is a legal member. Mark the words legal, not just anybody. You are allowed to travel to any part of the world, but that does not make you a citizen of the country where you've traveled to. And so he is a legal member of a state. And remember when I say a state in this context, I mean a country. And so he is a legal member of a state with full constitutional or legal rights in that country where he or she resides. That is a citizen. And so if you are entitled to the full constitutional rights as well as the legal rights in the country where you are resident that makes you a citizen of that country and so you enjoy certain rights and privileges and as well have responsibilities and duties which you owe your state so how do people become citizens how do you acquire the status of a citizen of any country first is by birth and so by being born Wherever your parents are from, Nigeria, Cameroon, makes you automatically a citizen of that country by birth. By naturalization, you can also become a citizen by naturalization and that is by a continuous residence in a country. And so every country has stipulations probably in their constitution or other laws guiding the affairs of that country which stipulates how you can become a citizen by naturalization for instance in nigeria you must have continuously resided in nigeria for at least 15 years continuously for you to acquire the status of a citizen by naturalization it could also be by marriage and so if i am a nigerian and i am married to an american i have become a citizen of america of course my citizenship as a nigerian has not been taken away and also dual citizenship so like i have illustrated just now i am a nigerian married to an american and so i am a nigerian as a citizen and i am also an american as a citizen by marriage and that's dual citizenship we also have an honorary citizenship maybe because of your great impute or the in development that you give to the society where you live the community the country can decide to award you with an honorary citizenship not because you are born or because you're resident there but because of your potentials or because of the impute that you have put in in that country they could award you with an honorary citizenship and then we would look at the rights of a citizen there are so many rights and so whatever is entrenched in the constitution as a right to a citizen of a country of course any citizen would enjoy those benefits and remember when we talked about fundamental rights we said those ones are entrenched in the constitution and every citizen enjoys them so when you flip the pages of the constitution you would see so many rights and we have talked at length about all of those like those rights like the right to life to security and protection of law undisturbed access to the courts of law freedom and protection from slavery and forced labor your right to ownership of property your right to protection from deprivation of property you have the right to vote you have the right to be voted for you have the freedom of forming or joining any political association you have the freedom of movement without any restraint you have a right to education freedom from unlawful detention arrest and torture you also have the freedom of expression and of the press the right to fair hearing the freedom of religion 
there are so many rights when you flip the pages of the constitution there are so so many rights embedded in the constitution and other laws which every citizen enjoys and now as a citizen you also owe your state obligations there are duties civic duties and other kinds of duties that you owe your state and one of those is payment of taxes and so that's the way one way the country generates income to be able to carry out the functions of a government to provide all the amenities that we need for safe living so we get this uh, money the revenue from the taxes that the citizens pay and so it is very necessary and it is very mandatory that you pay your taxes of course obedience to law you must be very obedient and abiding to the laws of the state to vote at elections it is your right no one can stop you you vote for the persons you would want to be in power and you also bring uh, put yourself out there to be voted for you can also prevent crimes when you see people or you speculate or suspect some uh, untoward movements you report such activities you have your right as an individual to be able to do what things are provided for legally in your country you also have the right to obey um, the the symbols of your country now we have the national the coat of arms the national flag all of those symbols that represent your country it is your duty to protect them to ensure that no one abuses those symbols and you respect them and pay dignity to them you are to be loyal to your country show some love to your country i mean be engaged in the national service and so many other duties which you owe your state and with that we've come to the end of this session about citizenship do not forget that if you can acquire citizen um, the status of a citizenship you can also lose that status and so when you become very violent or you renounce your position as a citizen then you're going to lose it so many other factors how you can lose your citizenship so you be faithful and you be law abiding and keep being a good citizen do have a good time and watch out for our subsequent videos where we'll talk about other matters in government thank you so much